What I didn't know was that I was going to spend the next four years trying out every top task management tool on the market. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what we found, what we loved, and which one we'd recommend that you avoid. Microsoft is acquiring online task manager Wonderlist. Because if I don't write it down, I will forget it and I will not do it. Okay. I've used TickTick, -tick, which is my tasks app, the longest. Nobody wake up tomorrow and say, hey, I want to create my own project. Yeah. Everything else is procrastinating around the work that you think you should do. The moment you begin working is when your output per unit of time goes up. Rewind to June 2020, I had just decided it was finally time for me to get a to-do list app. And I did what you just did. I googled best task management apps. My criteria was slim and I was previously using Apple Notes to check off my to-dos. The problem with that was that it wasn't getting me very far. I could only check off my to-dos for an afternoon or so. And when it came to any kind of long-term planning, it fell apart. First up on the list, Todoist. I created an account and started entering my to-dos. And with that, I wanna say that I actually dug up my old notes and found this text that I sent to a friend that basically said, I hated this app. Now, I don't wanna to be too hard on Todoist because logging back in now, I do think that it is a good overall task list app. However, I do see where I was coming from. For example, when I log back in, I notice that there's just so many options. Every time you wanna add a to-do list app, you're asked for the priority and the deadline and then so many other features and buttons that are all vying for your attention. And at the time, I felt like it was just too bloated. I remember also being turned off by all the call to actions asking me to immediately upgrade when I hadn't even invested the time to properly set up this app. There was a lot of restrictions and I felt like there was no breathing room when using Todoist. I'll tell you what I ended up using in just a second, but for now, I do wanna to give Todoist an honest review as a part of this video. Logging in now, I do think it is good for basic task management, something more robust than your Apple Notes checkboxes. And I do think it's nice to organize your different to-dos, especially for your personal life with labels and folders. So I think as an all-around task management app, it has the clout that it has for a reason. And I understand why some people love it. It is fairly simple to use and quite intuitive and straightforward. In 2023, Todoist doubled down on their team features, but even said that the individual experience is still at the heart of everything we do. That said, it's still a very basic task management app when you're considering it for team use because it doesn't have those team features that a lot of the other apps do, like team dependencies to let your team know when you're blocking one another, and also Gantt charts, and also doesn't tell you anything about anyone's workload. If you do end up using Todoist, then we also have a special deal over on our website, Efficient App, so make sure to grab that link down in the description. So what did I end up using? TickTick. -tick. Okay. I've used TickTick, -tick, which is my tasks app, the longest. Now, sorry, MKBHD, we don't use it anymore. We have outgrown it. However, Alex does still use it to check off basic things like reminders to take his supplements. We even introduced my dad to it four years ago and I called him in preparation for this video to learn that he's stuck with using it and he loves it to manage his personal and household tasks. He says that it is a great overall app for the needs that he has. What I liked about TickTick -Tick is that it's very simple to use and while you can add things like a deadline or priority, these are secondary features, but the main part of it is that you can just quickly add in your to-dos and there's no flashy things popping out at you. I dug up my old TickTick -tick account so you can take a look at how I organize it here. I used it to manage things like my finance tasks, personal admin, and a little bit of work. And apparently by this text that I sent, I also love the fact that it takes everything on your calendar and makes it into a to-do that you can check off at the end of every day. However, I do wanna mention that the calendar sync with TickTick -tick is very lackluster and laggy and slow, especially compared to the more modern tools available now. The thing with TickTick -tick is that they have a very generous free tier, which is great for personal use, but we don't recommend upgrading. In fact, we don't know anybody who uses the paid tier of TickTick. -tick. 
Ultimately, we did stop using TickTick because our definition of what makes a good task management app has evolved so much, especially with these new modern tools that have a calendar at the core coming out. You said you love TickTick, but you are open to ditching it at any point if you can find I, something. Literally, if it just looks better. We've seen this category evolve so much over the years with the rise of tools like Motion, Sansama, Routine, and AkiFlow. And we actually have a whole dedicated video on daily planning tools that have calendar at the core along with task management that you can check out here. Now, I am gonna tell you more about Motion later in this video, but first I wanna tell you about another cool app that we love and one that we recommend that everyone avoids. Let's go. Now, fast forward to 2024 to another app that I've been dabbling with called Superlist. Superlist is built by the same team who built Wonderlist, so of course we had to check it out. Superlist is a note-taking app that allows you to also have checklist items that you can check off. So think of it as a more sophisticated Apple Notes. And I wanna be clear, I don't use Superlist for any personal task management. I use another app for that, which I'll talk about in a sec. But what I do use it for is when I have like a long list of items that I need to do together. Like for example, when Alex and I moved into a new place, we had a whole bunch of furniture items and kitchen items that we needed to purchase and I put them all in Superlist along with links to the items that we were considering and images as well. And then you're able to assign due dates to the tasks and then also assign it to one another. So we use this for this, I guess, home personal note taking app area with some items that we need to check off together, if that makes sense. As a side note, we put just as much thought and research into purchasing all of our home items as we do into the software that we use. And if you're curious to learn about some of the items we went with, we link to some of them over on our newsletter. So make sure you're signed up if you're curious. What I love about Superlist is the very thoughtful design. I love the little swiggly lines that separates your checklists. And then I also love the little noises that it makes when you check something off. And I also love that Alex and I can collaborate on a personal level on certain notes. I will warn you though, it is quite buggy. We did experience quite a bit of friction with using some of the features as is. However, we are hopeful that the team is going to smooth a lot of the kinks out. And while they do have team features and even a team tier, we didn't go down the rabbit hole of even evaluating it for business because of the early bugs that we experienced using it just for personal use. All this being said, it is a great replacement for something like Apple Notes or Google Keep. And if you do end up using it and choose to upgrade, make sure to check out the deal section of our website because we do have a special discount for you. Now let's talk about one of the most popular and talked about apps when it comes to task management, and that is Notion. If you watched any of our content, we strongly, strongly recommend that nobody, no one uses Notion for task management. And the reason behind that is because you are starting with a blank slate when you are using Notion and you have to now build your very own task management tool. And while certain people like that because they get to have the flexibility, these people tend to be more technical and they have the time to invest in building this product, this task management tool. Nobody wake up tomorrow and say, hey, I want to create my own project yeah. management tool, right? Nobody do that. We have the disguise Notion as a general purpose productivity software, almost sugar coat the broccoli a little bit. If you are a business owner, a professional, or an individual who just wants to be more productive, I would say that not spending days or months building your own task management tool in Notion is the path to go down. Everything else is procrastinating around the work that you think you should do. Because the reality is a lot of these productivity influencers that you see here on YouTube have done that. They've spent literally days, if not months, building out templates, and then they do what? You're gonna find this template, number one, linked in the description. By downloading one of my ready-made templates. A template available for download. So if you want a completely done for you system, definitely check it out. They sell them to you. So you are essentially purchasing their product and their template to use for task management, while there's other tools that have entire dedicated teams that have built a task management tool already. So do yourself a favor, do not go down that path. We have a lot of people that reach out to us that say Notion's just not working for me. And it makes sense because it gets you to step outside of the role that you are currently doing and into the role of a product manager. 
It is especially messy when it comes to using it as a team. So take this as a warning and skip out on Notion. I can tell that I stopped using TickTick in August 2021 because that's the last time that I checked off tasks in there. And that's because Motion, a calendar app that we were using at the time, added the ability to add tasks to your calendar. Now, this was different because with adding tasks to your calendar, it actually slotted them in right into your schedule, among your meetings and your appointments, and you just had to open up the app and follow the plan that it had for you for that day. And we had never seen anything like this. We were even hesitant if this would be something that we wanted to use. But once we started using tasks on our calendar, it blew us away in terms of how much it made sense. With that, I should also mention that Motion has now transformed into a full-blown project management tool. So Alex stopped using Asana and we moved everything from Asana over to Motion. So it ended up replacing Asana, TickTick, and then also Calendly for us as well. Now, if you do end up giving Motion a shot, don't make the same mistake that other people have. Make sure you go down into the description to click on the link that takes you to the deal on our site because we are giving away our Motion course for free to anybody that uses our link to sign up for Motion. Motion is a powerhouse for teams and individuals because it has so much more context on your schedule. It has all of your meetings, your appointments, and then your tasks. And it also takes into account task priorities and deadlines, not only for yourself, but for the tasks that your team has to do as well. So for example, if you're blocking someone on your team, but you're going to be away on a holiday for three days, Motion knows to schedule that task for you to get done before you go on holiday so your teammate can actually get their work done by the deadline. Line. Motion helps you stay on track. It reduces the fatigue when it comes to wondering what you need to work on next. And for all of these reasons, this is why we only use Motion now for all of our tasks. They have absolutely changed the game when it comes to task management and time management. If you're curious to learn more about Motion, also check out this video here where we take you through exactly how we use it. So that is the lineup. I cannot believe how many task management apps we have tried over the years, but if there is one thing that I know for certain is that we are using the best task and project management app out there. And if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a like and subscribe. It means so much to us and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for your time and attention.